Hey Prime Drivers, today we got your cardio recovery. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna get your heart rate up, it's gonna open your lungs up a little bit more, and it's gonna be great to flush those muscles of any uh, metabolic byproducts that might have accumulated over our last few exercise sessions this week. So recovery day means we're gonna follow some of that same regimen as far as we're gonna do one minute per exercise three rounds, five different things. We're just gonna keep flowing through it. So this is your out of truck one. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna start off, off with some forward and backward leg swings. So got a timer going. We're gonna go right here next to your truck. So get set and let's go. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. So the goal on this is to keep a straight leg. So quad locked out, just going back and forth. Great for hamstring flexibility and hip flexor flexibility. So in a dynamic way right here. So try, try not to move your hips back and forth like that. You wanna keep your pelvis pointed straight forward here. So upright posture, nice deliberate movements. Okay, let's switch sides. For this other one, I'm gonna flip around here. So from right here, it's typically gonna be a little bit easier if you swing the opposite of what you're holding on to here. So right here, nice and easy. Good, now we're gonna to go to side to sides. So from right here, crossed over. You're leaning forward just slightly to get up on this rail right here. You can always kick out a little bit further you're gonna go out, loosen up your adductors and your groin muscles. So right there on the inside of your leg, those are your adductors. You're also getting a little bit of strength because you're practicing an abduction. And that's gonna be this movement right there. That's good for your hip strength. So every time you move it outside, you're working those hip muscles right there. Okay, let's go the other leg now. So nice and easy, back and forth. Okay, after this, we got some shoulder wall slides. So kick back right here and press up right there. So right here, pressing up and down. You don't have to be all the way against it, maybe just a couple inches out. Good chest stretch, shoulder stretch. See, I got a little bit of an angle coming out away from the truck, just because there's a little bit of a dip on the truck. Got about 20 seconds left. What this does is it teaches proper, proper shoulder positioning on overhead pressing and it also gets your scapulas aligned to press upwards on this movement. Okay, after that, our last one is gonna, we have two more, so toe touches right now, and we're gonna start those right now. So toe touch right there, and then just come back up. Stretch out the hamstrings, and back up. We're gonna do this for about 10 more seconds, and I'm gonna show you an alternative to do as well. So not only are you stretching your hamstrings, you're using them to bring you back up to this position. Okay, now we're gonna throw a twist in, right over left, to really emphasize this outer hip stretch. Do a couple more. Now let's go left over right. All right, last thing, we got quad stretches. So we're gonna do a dynamic quad stretch. So right here, you'll see these a lot in the program. The reason you see these a lot is they're an easy way to hit a very, very common problem with truck drivers and with people that sit in general. Now, if you need to hold on to something, you can always hold on to something too. 
but it's great to work on balance. So hip flexors and this whole thing right here gets really tight when you sit down all day. And what that can do is it can pull you forward like that to where you see people walking like this a lot. Well, a lot of times it's because it's so tight right there, it won't let them open their hips up. So these are great and you should do them daily as drivers when you sit down so much. Okay, other side. Go a little bit faster here. All right, after this, we're doing two more rounds. We're going right back into it. So, first things first, we're doing leg swings. So, right here. Get a drink whenever you want through this, but you shouldn't be too out of breath. You can see I'm talking right now, and I'm not too out of breath. And that's what you want. Your recovery means you don't want to be working at maximal work effort the whole time. You want to be able to talk and breathe and relax. Okay, other side. About 30 seconds over here, so get set up. And then right just like this. This is something, I would do these exercises throughout your stops each day. Now, if you can't do this whole 15 minute routine or you want to break it up, do this morning before you start when you get out to go to the bathroom on a break because this is simple to do to get loosened up and to give you more energy. Okay, let's go side to side. So right here. Got about 12 more seconds on this leg. All right, other side. This is round two of three. Twenty seconds left. And after this, we're going to wall shoulder slides. So keep your leg locked out if you can. Try not to get a twist to it right there. Locked out, up and down. Okay, coming over here, got our shoulder slides. So whenever you press up, I don't know if you can see, but the lower part of my back, what you don't want to do is press up and push out. You don't want that to happen right there. You want to keep nice and steady on the truck right here, up and down. Thirty seconds left. These will probably get your shoulders burning pretty good because you're not used a lot of times. This is another thing that helps you out as a driver. You got to make note of these things because you're sunk over so much when you drive with your shoulders leaned over. So strengthening them in this position right here will help you keep them pulled back more throughout the day so we're offsetting all of the effects that come about from driving all day okay next on the list we got some toe touches so right here down and then back up right here this is too much you can always just go from right here down a lot of times you get dizzy if you dip your head, pull it up, dip it, pull it up. So if you need to just go right here and keep fixed on a spot. And that way your head's not dipping a lot. Thirty seconds left. And then we're on our last thing for quad stretches. Get a 
drink whatever you need through this. Just keep pace with it besides that. I always have a water ready that way in case you need something drink you can do it. After this we're going back to forward and backward leg swings and then side to side. For another 10 seconds here. Okay, let's get set up for these. So we'll just go straight back and forth here. This is your last round, five minutes left. Seconds other side. Flip it around here. Great exercise to work all your things. Good. 
to the other side. Good, that's your recovery team.